Welcome to another episode of Peter Beatty's Garage. In this episode, we will be doing an oil change on my 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. You may remember the oil change video I did in the spring before I took the car out of winter hibernation. Now, it was kind of hard to see some of the steps in that vlog style video that I shot with my iPhone, so I wanted to do a really detailed video for you this time around. It was also a good excuse to try out my new garage in four post lift, so let's get started. The Gallardo's oil change frequency is every 7,500 miles or once per year, whichever comes first. Now I've actually driven the car a lot this summer. I've taken it on many road trips to meet my friends and go on cruises and go to many cars and coffee events and more. I've even taken it to the drag strip a few times as you've seen in other videos. I've just really been enjoying this car this summer and it's really performed flawlessly. I'm just about to hit 7,500 miles for the summer and there's still a month or so of driving left so let's get to changing the oil. First we need to pull the car onto the lift. Now you obviously don't need a lift to do this job. In fact, this is the first time that I've ever used a lift to work on any one of my cars. I've been able to get by all these years with nothing more than a floor jack and a few jack stands. But a four post lift really does make jobs like this a whole lot easier and enjoyable. If you get the chance to get a lift, jump on it. The Gardo is a lot wider than a typical car like my Cobra, so it can be kind of difficult and nerve wracking to load it yourself the first few times. You can't see her off camera, but Emily is guiding me onto the lift to make sure I don't drive off the edge. I've also got to pull the Cobra into my other garage bay. It's normally stored above the Lambo on the lift. Just listen to that Pro Charger whine and notice the leaves being blown away from the open bypass valve, which is dumping boost off at idle. I really do love that car. So before we start, here's what we'll need to complete this job. A Lamborghini Gallardo filter removal tool. An OEM 2004 to 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo oil filter with the new rubber seals. 10 to 12 quarts of 5W40 full synthetic motor oil, new crush washers for the drain bolts, and a bunch of paper towels. Now the oil filter is located on the top of the engine between the two intake covers. Some of the instructions I read online from other sites say that you have to remove the air box and the throttle bodies and a bunch of other things to get to the oil filter. I didn't find any of that necessary. I was able to get to it just by disconnecting these two vacuum lines. Now before I start unscrewing the filter cover, I decided to place paper towels around the edge of the filter to catch any oil that spills out. We don't want the top of our beautiful Lamborghini engine to be covered in oil. I also decided to lay this protective work blanket over the rear bumper to protect the paint. Since I'll be doing a lot of leaning over the car with sharp tools in my hands, we don't want to make any mistakes that we'll regret later. Now here's a shot of the oil filter cover with the paper towels around it. You can see the disconnected vacuum lines in front of it. Next we need to loosen the oil filter cover itself. This is where you need the Gallardo oil filter wrench that I just showed you. This is kind of a tight spot, so just take your time with it and you should be fine. It took multiple tries for me to loosen the oil filter cover. It was on there pretty tight, but once I cracked it loose, I could spin the rest of it off by hand. Before I start removing the filter cover, I placed more paper towels around the site to catch any oil dripping out from inside the cover when I remove it. So there it is. This is not the filter. The filter is still inside the car. This is just a cover that goes over it. Now it's time to remove the filter itself. The filter will be absolutely soaked with oil, so I went ahead and added even more paper towels around the location to catch any oil that's going to be dripping out of it. So the filter comes out pretty effortlessly now, as you can see. So back over at the workbench, this is what the new filter looks like. You'll notice a little rubber seal on the bottom of it. Just make sure that it is snapped into place properly before moving forward. You don't want any oil leaks after you do your oil change. So here's the oil filter cover we just removed. The filter also comes with a new rubber seal for this too, so make sure you replace the old rubber seal on the filter cover with the new rubber seal that you see here. Now the filter just pops into the cover and with a slight twist to the right, it stays right inside. So to make it easier to get these things into the engine and to make removal easier next time we do an oil change, I like to rub a little bit of motor oil onto these rubber seals. Now not a lot is needed here, just a dab on your finger is perfectly fine.
Now we can reinstall the oil filter cover and new oil filter assembly as a pair back into the engine. Again, this is a tight fit, but I find it works best just to angle the filter just a little bit and it slides right into its spot on top of the engine. If you do this correctly, the filter won't fall out of the filter cover. If it does, just put it back in and start all over. Now screw the filter cover on by hand until it's hand tight. Then go ahead and grab your Gallardo filter tool again that we had earlier and then torque it down until the yellow mark on the front of the filter cover is facing the rear of the car or pretty close to it. Now be careful not to over tighten it as you could damage the threads on the filter cover. Once I was done I just plugged the two vacuum lines back in then I just raised the car on the lift so I could get to draining the old oil out of it. Now I'm always extremely cautious when working with the lift or even with jack stands. So I always go around and double check that all locks are properly engaged before I do anything at all. The first time I used this lift, one of the locks didn't engage properly because it wasn't adjusted properly. And if I hadn't been super cautious like this, I would have missed it and I could have had an accident. Now we have a nice look at the underside of our Lamborghini here. This is the first time I've ever had this car on a lift and been under it like this. I've had it on jack stands before, but there's nothing like being able to walk right under it. So right now I'm just taking a look at everything underneath, making sure everything is okay and looking for any oil leaks or obvious visual wear on some of my parts here. Oh look, it's the prop shaft that comes off the transmission. You can see there's no drive shaft attached since we converted to rear wheel drive last year. Now don't mind that little dried up oil there. That was left over from a leaky crank seal that has since been fixed. I need to get in there and clean that up this winter. So here's the first drain bolt we'll need to remove to start draining the oil from the car. This is located on the bottom of the oil tank. The second drain bolt is on the bottom of the engine right here. Next I got my new oil drain tank in place and removed the first drain bolt. Once cracked loose, I like to remove it by hand so I don't lose the bolt in the drain pan. Then out comes the oil. This is where the latex gloves come in handy. Now while that's draining, I like to clean up the drain plug over here at the workbench. Right here I'm putting my new copper crush washer on, then reinstall on the bottom of the oil tank, hand tight. Be careful not to over tighten this drain bolt. The oil tank is made of soft aluminum, and over tightening it could strip the threads, leading to headaches you don't want right now. Now we go ahead and attempt to remove the second drain plug which is located on the bottom of the engine we have to drain the rest of the oil from the car here. Let's just say this one didn't come out as easy for me as the other one. It took me a good 10 minutes and a few different approaches to even get this thing to budge. I tried extending my leverage with another wrench, tried that again, I got mad then decided to put my body weight into it, and success. Alright, I'm okay, seriously, that was on there tight. It shouldn't be on there that tight, I don't remember torquing it down that tight, so I'm going to be extra careful that I don't over torque this thing when I put it back on. So now I remove the drain bolt by hand, put my drain pan in place again, and let the oil drain out like a waterfall. So a whole nine hours later when all that oil is done draining, I'm back here reinstalling the drain plug, again, hand tight. Now we can lower the car to the ground and start filling it up with fresh oil, 10 to 12 quarts to be exact. But you can't just dump it all in there at once. Remember, this is a Lamborghini. It must be done a specific way, don't you know that? First, we remove the dipstick. This is where you actually put the oil into the oil tank. Now, if your funnel is dirty like mine, make sure you clean it up real quick as you don't want any junk getting into that expensive V10 engine. So, the correct way to fill the car with new oil is to first fill it with five quarts. Obviously, with paper towel on hand to catch any oil spills, we can't be rolling around with oil all over our Lamborghini. So once five quarts have been added into the oil tank, go ahead and remove your funnel and then reinsert the dipstick. Now it's time to start the car. So now we have to let the car idle for about two minutes. While idling, go ahead and check under the car for any obvious oil leaks. After two minutes, shut the car off. Then come back and fill the car with the remaining five to seven quarts. Now be careful not to overfill the oil tank. So start with five quarts first, start the car, and then recheck, and then add more oil as necessary. 
Mine was just perfect with 10 quarts in total, so I was done here. Now it's very important that you do this the way that I just showed you. You don't want to be dumping all 10 quarts or attempt to dump all 10 quarts into your Lambo all at once. I've heard of people actually hydrolocking their motor when they did it this way. So it's very important that you fill the car with five quarts first, start it, let it run for a few minutes, and then fill it with the remaining amount of oil. Now don't forget to get into the habit of checking your oil every week or so. These cars naturally use up about a quart of oil every 1,000 miles or so, so you'll have to add a quart here and there depending on how much you drive. This is completely normal and it's nothing to worry about, it's just the nature of the beast. So this concludes our video on changing the oil on my 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. This process should be pretty much the same on all 2004 to 2008 pre-LP Gallardos but it's probably pretty similar for LP560. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and go ahead and hit subscribe. It lets me know that you're actually enjoying these videos and it motivates me to make more. Until next time, leave a comment below and let me know if this video was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next video.